Hey everyone, welcome back to my main menu series. In this video, I'm actually gonna be going over how to make the settings page. So previously when we went over how to make the main menu and then we added some, um, we added a stack in the menu so that we can easily push new widgets and switch them out accordingly. And then now we're gonna basically be doing the same thing but in the settings menu. So we're gonna be pushing um, the different tabs that we have available and then we'll be creating those specific widgets. We're gonna be creating a lot of UI widgets in this so that we can easily customize them later on. And then if we ever wanna make changes, it's super easy. Um, with that, this video is only gonna be covering the UI. The functionality is gonna come in a following episode. However, if I was to stack both of them together, the, ep the episode, YouTube video, whatever you wanna call it, um, would have gotten a lot longer than what I want it to be. So I split them into two. We're gonna go into design. You're gonna be kind of just hearing my thoughts of what I'm doing. I may switch it up as I'm going through. Um, I like to improvise a lot of the times with what I'm doing and I just have a general idea of what I'm gonna do. So yeah, uh, let's get into it. But let's take a look at what we're working with. In the last video, we created this main menu. You hit settings button, you get these other four buttons. But now what we want to do is when we select these three buttons, we want to open up a widget. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to change these buttons to be at the top. I'm going to take that back button and put it at the bottom left. Uh, I want to kind of create this type of tab menu. And then we're going to create all the widgets for our audio uh, settings, our control settings, and our graphic settings. So let's begin moving those buttons to the top. So what we're gonna do is go to UI settings. Instead of a vertical box, we're gonna be doing a horizontal box. Drag that out over here. I'm gonna fill this to the top, so let's anchor it. And then I'm going to offset zero, zero, position zero. Let's do this 200. Ooh, how oh, that looks a little big. Let's do 175. What about 150? Uh, yeah, that looks good. And then I'm just gonna drag this down. Actually, let's see. Let's cover 15% of the screen and do zero. Okay, that should be good. Now let's grab these three buttons here and drag them into the horizontal box. Not too bad. And then now, what I actually want to do is, I wanna make these buttons not blocks. So I'm gonna go into widgets, go into menu button. This is the button style that we made. So we're able to adjust all of the buttons and I wanna give them a rounded corner. So what we're gonna do is under normal, so normal base, changes to a rounded box. We do have to go to outline settings and then you have to adjust these uh, settings and change the half height to fix radius. We'll open this up. And I'm gonna change this to, oh, I guess I already had this set to like 25, but like 50, 50, 50. Perfect. And then I wanna do the same thing to all of them. So I'm gonna actually copy the outline settings. We're gonna do rounded box. Shift right click, we'll paste your settings, rounded box, shift paste. And we should be good. Let's take a look to see if our buttons look good. We can always adjust them. Okay, so yeah, we got those rounded. So actually I wanted to crease it a little. Maybe that's why it was defaulted to 25 already. Yeah, that looks a little better. Obviously this back button is gigantic, but we don't need it to be in a vertical box. Let's delete that vertical box. The back button we're gonna shove in the bottom right. We'll do zero, it's just 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I'm gonna drag it over here. Position 150. Ooh, that's actually too much, 100. And what if we do 150 here? Oh, that's size, sorry. 150 here. 200? 100? Nah, too big. 80? And 150. 
That looked good. Should I shove it further in the corner? Mm. 120. 80. That's not too bad. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to want to use a stack again. So we're going to grab a stack. And grab this. I'm going to make the size. 1920, 0.5, 0. 0.5, anchor that in the center, position that directly in the center. Um, accidentally unclicked it, but let's now try. Let's see, what about 800? Does that, that suffice? No, a little bit too big, 750? It's not bad. Yeah, I think 750 works. Maybe hit the down arrow key one time. Uh, one more time, okay. Give a little bit of space. Okay, so I hit down key twice, which just put the position Y to eight. So that's not bad. And now I'm gonna just drag all of these over here. 15.4, and then let's drag this down. 85.6, yeah, that does math, right? That's 100, cool. Awesome. So we anchored it, oh, we gotta do the same thing. Okay. Perfect. Now what we need to do is we need to now create the widgets that are gonna go inside of here. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna put audio above graphics. Uh, I'm gonna make graphics last. I don't know why I wanna put audio first. I mean, sounds, uh, I think most important out of these. That's like the settings most people go to automatically when they start games. Um, all right, so let's create our audio widget. And what we're going to need to do is create an activatable widget. So let's actually rename this to settings stack. And we're gonna do the same thing as we did before. So now we're gonna create a, let's do setting settings tabs. Open here, blueprint, activate, or it's activatable all the way at the bottom. We'll name this WBP audio. Hmm. Excuse me, control D. We'll name this controls and graphics. All right, so for our audios, we're gonna need to create sliders, uh, which is basically just gonna control the volume so people could just drag along a slider. Um, in controls, we're going to need to be able to do hotkeys. Um, we'll have a slider for mouse sensitivity. Um, can't think of any else on the top of my head, so we can leave it at that. I think hotkeys are the most important. And then graphics, um, we'll have resolution. We'll have the display mode, so like windowed, um, full screen borderless. And then VSync. And I think just graphics. Um, like low, medium, high, very high, things like that. Okay, cool. Um, that should be good. Let's begin editing this. So all of them, I'm gonna start off with just a border. This is gonna be basically the background. And then I'm gonna just I wanna have close to black, but not exactly. That should be good. And then let's just dial this down a bit. 0 0.8 should be good. And then that's gonna be my basic like frame to work on. Everything after, I think we need a horizontal box. Horizontals left to right. No, we need vertical. All right, cause that's gonna go up, down, get rid of padding automatically. I don't like that all of these start with padding for some reason. Okay. 
All right, and now we're gonna need to create our slider widgets. So we're gonna go into, just back to regular widgets, I guess. It's weird that I'll have to reorganize this later, but now we'll just go into widget blueprints. This could be a regular user widget. We'll name this um, TXT sliders. We're gonna grab a, I think horizontal box. Grab some text. Oop. We're gonna grab that common text and then we're gonna grab a slider. I know there's these audio sliders, but I'll take a look at those later. We're gonna use just a regular slider right now. Um, honestly, because I'm not sure the difference between using those right now and let's just stick to what we know at the moment. A slider, um, values, I guess, I don't know. And we'll name this TXT name. Let's align this into the center. Let's make this bigger. 45, okay. Let's highlight both of these and hit that fill button. Slider value, I wanted to cover 70% of the room and this to 30%. <laughs> and let's see, should I do some padding? Let's do 25, 25. Fifty. Okay, that should be good there. And now let's make this bigger. So for our slider, there's two different things that you have to adjust. There's the bar thickness, so that it's just this little tiny gray bar you see. And then if we were to scroll in, this is the thumb, and that is what uh, you have to change the actual um, thumb size. So let's first increase the bar thickness all the way down here, or like 30. Is that a little too big? Zoom out. Mm, maybe 25? Yeah, 25 is good. And then we want to go here where we have normal thumb image and start adjusting this. So let's do like big volumes right now. Oh, I thought that was big, but clearly it wasn't. Um, let's go back. I don't need normal. All right. Um, did I do it backwards? Ooh, okay. That's a little too big. Let's do 30 and 70. I'm starting to feel like that's probably a little bit too big. And then I want to change the bar color. I'm actually going to steal this green color, which is in our main menu button. Bar color. And slider color is going to be just, let's do like a gray. That didn't go down. Can you do gray, please? Why are you not saving, sir? Okay. That was weird. Um, all right. Nonetheless, that should be good. Now, next, we just have to be able to control these. So we're going to do um, 0 to 1 is max. And we'll do over here with pre-construct. Oh, sorry. I forgot to make this a variable. We're going to set value. Keep that as value. 
set text. Oop. Drag that down. Going to name that text. All right. We got our text sliders available. So oh, it's TXT. Bam. Control D, Control D. So we got three of them. Hit that fill button. Bam. So we got them all filled out. Now let's rename them. So we're just going to call these slider master. Slider music. Slider SFX. Oh, we forgot to do this. We got to make these exposed or instance editable. I don't think we actually need to expose them. I don't think it actually matters if you click that or not, to be honest, because we're not going to be using either. And then we should set a max of one. I could slider range zero to one, zero to one. Go back here. There we go. Um, okay, so set value. Zero to one, zero to one. Okay, cool. Just making sure all of that looks good. We're going to name this master. Music, SFX, and then I'm actually going back in the slider and I'm doing one thing, putting this on top. I want the text to be on top. It's just bothering me that I'm seeing it. Um, there we go. So when I'm typing text and the value is underneath. So cool. And you also see when I edit the value, it's changing. All right, we have our audio. Now what we want to do is we just want to push it when we click this button. So I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see a little. Scroll down, hit on base, clicked. What we're going to do is grab our setting stack. We're going to push that widget, which is going to be our audio. Now what we also want to do is we want to deactivate the current widget that is currently going to be there. So upon clicking, we want to, I don't think you can deactivate automatically. I think you can only activate, you can push, you can remove, Oh, clear widgets. Okay. I take it back. I just had a brain fart and couldn't remember. So clear widgets, push widget. And then we're gonna be doing the same thing for the controls button. And the graphics. I don't think I need to actually have two of those. Awesome. So we got that. I don't know why I moved that. It's fine. Okay. And then now we got to create the other ones. But before we do that, let's just make sure it's working as intended. Hit that settings button. Hit that audio button. Nice. Okay. So look, one thing that we forgot is to change the thumb for all of the other stuff. So when we hover on top, it shrinks. So let's go ahead and change that. Go back to, oop, hit that stop. 
Let's go back into our sliders. We adjusted our image size. And now let's just paste it here. And let's take a look one more time. Um, boom, boom, boom. Audio. Nice, there we go. And now it slides. Perfect. Hit that back button. Now let's go ahead and do our controls. So we're gonna go into settings tab, controls. I'm gonna copy this border. I'm going to actually delete two of these. I'm gonna leave one of them, which is going to be, I don't think I need that as a variable right now. Uh, I mean, they're gonna be variables anyways. Let's be honest. Slider, mouse, sense. Mouse sensitivity. I was afraid I was gonna misspell that, honestly. Okay, so we got mouse sensitivity, but now we need to do hotkeys. So let's go into creating a, another widget. I'm actually just gonna control D this and do hotkeys. And then in this, I'm just gonna delete the slider. And then let's also delete that stuff. All right, so I left the text, but now I'm going to need to do a input key. And that's just so that somebody can input a key as it's stated in the name. And then when we do the actual um, settings, uh, we'll be able to map that accordingly. So let's go ahead and hit fill. Let's do, oh, let's do that. Um, let's do that actually, but I want to do, what is 200, 200? Now let's do this. Let's grab some spacers. And then with the spacers, let's do fill, fill. Text block is gonna I actually don't know if I like that. Let's. No, I don't like that at all. Let's go back to what my original plan was. Let's just do 200. Zero point seven. Okay. Okay, and then with this, we still have text set the same. I'm not gonna do anything with the input key selector because there's nothing for me to do right now. Um, so with that, we're gonna need to create a few hotkeys here. So hotkey, two, three, four, what I am going to do later is we're gonna create as many as needed, but right now I'm just gonna set five hard-coded and then we'll change it later. So with that, let's go back over here. Oh, I forgot to do something. Delete that variable. All right, let's do hockey's jump. We'll name that Sprint. Uh, punch. 
name this toggle menu. Uh, and then this one should be crouch. And let's actually put toggle menu at the bottom. Punch. Sprint. Jump. All right. So we got all that. That looks great. I know that this bar is a lot bigger than these, but honestly, um, I may just change how those are all together. But right now, that should be a good setup for us. So let's go ahead and change this controls, activatable widget to controls. Let's take a look. Hit settings, hit controls. And then we press a key. Let's actually go back into hotkeys. And then on key selection, cha change it to press any key. All right, hit settings, controls, press any key, press any key. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Now, last thing we want to do is graphics. So we're gonna go ahead and close this. We're gonna copy this border, open up graphics, paste that. Let's close this, close this. And then let me see. I know that we want to do drop down. And we're going to need to do a few of those because we need the resolution. We need graphics. And then we need vSync. So we actually don't need any of these. With this vertical box, let's go ahead and create our new widgets again. We got widget. We're gonna do drop down. I'm going to actually, let, let me delete this. Let me copy the slider one more time. Actually not slider. Let, Oh no, uh, which one was what? I messed up. Sorry, pressing the back button too many times. I created a widget and I forget which one is the one not being used. Hit delete, no. Hit delete, there we go. All right, slight panic attack, it's fine. Almost delete the wrong stuff. And then we're gonna name this a drop down. All right, and all because I wanna keep the main, I wanna maintain the same settings. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that. This is still doing 0 0.3, which we love. We're going to now need to do, oh, I forget what it's called, something string. Oh, combo string. We'll do this, fill 0 0.7, do that. Let's also do 200, 200. All right, and then we're gonna need to do, hmm. We need the drop down menu to fit into specific things. So let's grab, oh, let's rename this to drop down list. Let's 
So it's set. What it what is it calling it? Default options. Default options. Add option. Then let's do this. We're going to create a new variable. We'll call it default options. We'll do strings. We'll change this to an array. Get this loop. Do add option. Plug that in. We'll also do set select it, it, and plug that. So what this should do is whatever we add into this array, which we'll just do that automatically, should give us the option to add more. Okay, let's go into here. Let's reopen trolls. I'm gonna copy this. Paste, delete all those options. Let's add our drop down. Oof, I really don't like how that looks right now. I think we need three. I'll hit that fill button. Oof, I don't like that in the slightest. Um, let's do that. That's disgusting. I think that's a little better. 30. I kind of want the text in the center. Also debating if I even want to. Work on figuring that out right now. I'll figure that out at a later time and probably include it once we start doing the actual settings itself. But all right, so drop down menu. Ooh, we forgot. And by we, I mean, I forgot. We need to set that to instant editable. Go back over here, compile. And now we have our default options. Perfect. So first one is gonna be display mode. We'll give full screen. We'll name this um, borderless and windowed. All right, so we'll name this to drop down uh, display mode. We'll do resolution. And we'll do this graphics. Graphics quality. Resolution. Display mode. Um, resolution. Hold on. I think I got a list of resolutions in a second. Eventually. Oh, man. No, it's 1920 and 1080 is the basic, but 
we'll do low. Actually, very low. Low, medium, high, very high. One thing is I'm not seeing my list appear at all, so I'm actually not sure if this is working yet. So let's hit play, settings, uh, controls. Oh no, graphics. Oh, I forgot. Change this to graphics. Hit that settings button, hit graphics. Okay, so this is not working. So adding a option is not appearing. Maybe I need to hit that. Let's try that one more time. No, it's still not doing anything. Okay, so play. Oop, sorry. Graphics. All right, so let's figure out what's going on here. All right, I had to investigate a little, but it ended up turning out the reason why this was uh, looking a bit odd with nothing appearing is because I put some absurd numbers in the padding. So let's knock those down to 50, not 500. Uh, let's actually delete this index, and we should have some functioning drop-down menus when we hit graphics. All right. Yep, we'd be able to move those over. Perfect. It's looking good. Hit that back button. All right. Now let's add our VSync. So we're going to close drop down. Going to go back into yeah, graphics. Cool. Now we're going to make a basically just a checkbox. So let's go back into widgets, create a new widget. Gonna use a widget, WBP, and call this uh, checkbox. I'm gonna do just like what I did with all the other ones. Um, copy that and paste. All right, delete that key, and we're gonna get a checkbox. With the checkbox, we'll do this, hit that fill button. It's super tiny, but should be good. Let's change this to 0 0.7. Let's go down to image size. Let's just do something absurd like 100. Wow, I thought that would have been a lot bigger, but it wasn't. Let's actually paste. Paste, paste, paste. All of these. Honestly, I could have just typed image size and did the exact same thing. Okay. And then I'm also going to wrap this with a border. And then with that border, make sure there's zero padding. On all of it, I'm going to change the brush color to black. I forgot to copy the text, so we're going to do grab this, set text. Name this to text. All right. Let's get checkbox. Um, forgot to expose it as usual. We'll also name this boom, 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 v sync. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know what to call this. Checkbox. V sync. Hit that fill button. All right. 
vsync. Did I rename any of this stuff? Checkbox. Just change that to checkbox. All right, let's take a look. Hit that settings button, graphics. We got that nice checkbox. Very nice, super simple. I'm not changing the image on it, but let's also fix the text because they're not aligning to the left and I want them to all line up. So let's go back over here and it should align here and change padding to like 50. Let's go back into drop down, hit text, align left, change that to 50. And this is the perks of having all of them here is because I can actually just do this. But this is also where style comes in handy because I could have just put one style. Put 50. And TXT slider. Left 50. Settings, graphics. There we go all lined up beautifully lined up lined up perfect and with that we now have a functioning ui for our settings what we're going to be doing next is we're going to set up all of the functionality in the background i hope you learned a lot about widgets in this we used a lot of different kinds as you can tell just by building off this we have tons of different widgets uis that can be used now, a step further that you could even go into it is, as I was mentioning, you can add the styles for the text so that if you have specific type of font, you have a specific size that you want for the buttons, specific size you want for um, all of these settings buttons, you'd be able to change those and then you'd have just one setting. So just like the way that I changed these buttons, You'd be able to do the same thing for the text. You could do the same thing for, um, I don't know if you could do it for sliders, actually. I, yeah, you can't do it for sliders. Um, you could create your own slider widget and then plug in the slider uh, into, that's like, uh, where is it? Oh, so like kind of how we grabbed a slider off of here. You could create your own slider and then plug it in. So yeah. Creating widgets save your lives. It makes it a lot easier to build upon. So that's why I really wanted to go into showing how many widgets we're going to build out, all the different tabs we're building. You really don't want to shove everything into a single widget and then build upon that. Um, I know in the beginning that's the easiest thing to do, but it can ends up getting things a lot more cluttered and then it's a lot harder to make adjustments especially when everything is reliant on each other. You make one mistake and good luck finding what the answer is. So yeah, this is the UI tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button, like button, join the Discord, all the self promo stuff. And it's been great having you guys. See you next time.